there and welcome to the locker room. Coach Gates here in another very special showcase. Very special because it's the first of its kind. You know, as I traveled in life, as many of you do, I've learned that we are only as good as the company we keep. And our wealth is determined by the relationships that we have. And I have two young men today in here in the locker room. You've all met them individually. Well, now you're going to see the magic of their relationship and the power of their relationship because the title of this message is Iron Sharpens Iron. And I'm going to sit back a little bit and I'm going to let these two amazing young men share with all of you the power of Iron Sharpens Iron and what it means to them and how the two of them have come into each other's lives. They loved each other. They've hated each other. They've been through all of it. <laughs> and they're going to share it all with you and the power of this relationship. Awesome, Justin, awesome. Stud, good to have us. you, Tommy. Good yeah. to have you in the locker room. Thanks for having us. And it, come it's on. funny that you say iron sharpens iron uh, because I've been digging in a little bit more you know, in the Bible, uh, with the mind, the body, and the spirit that mm. Simon created, that's our state director. And uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not a pastor, not, not a reverend, uh, and for sure I'm definitely not perfect. Uh, but in Proverbs 27, 17, it says iron sharpens iron, and also one man, one man to another as well sharpens that individual. Mm. So that's how I feel about Mr. Vina here, and uh, also we call him Thomas as well. Uh, <laughs> you know, but, but I believe him... He completes us, you know, and, and together we're good. We compete. We got to compete, you know, to, but I think together after we compete, we complete each other. Well, you know, real quick, these two compete with each other, really. They compete, but yet they complete each other because they have formed this amazing relationship, yeah. friendship and all, <laughs> in work and in business. Share that relationship, Tommy, yeah, a little so, bit. You know, you might not know the history, okay, but me and Justin started with this company four years ago. Okay. And when we started, we were, we were competition. Oh. I mean, to be honest, uh, I, didn't, I didn't really care for this guy too much. You, you when didn't I, like him too first, much, did you? Not no, when we I first don't. met. We were yeah. No, I felt a little bit of that <laughs> early on, but, but go ahead. As, as, the year, as, the, as the months went on, the more we competed, the more uh, respect I grew to ha have for Justin. Mm. Kind of like, you know, when I think about it, it's kind of like Magic and Bird. They hated each other and then they became, yes. you know, friends, right? And They were on Letterman the other night, by the way. Magic and him. You guys got to all catch that. And you two will nice. love that interview. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, good we'll, analogy. We'll look it up. Yeah, yeah. And, and as I was thinking about the growth of the agency, we were, we were successful. Justin was very successful. I was, I was, we were both being very successful. And I figured that if we worked in, in, as individuals, then we would probably continue to have levels of success. But what I heard was that, and this sounds cliche, but together everyone achieves more. And I'm very interested in situations where everyone mm. achieves more, everyone involved. John, Justin, John, you Justin. Got it. And, and, and before I say something, um, time heals everything. <laughs> so maybe that's why you like me a little bit more now. Time heals everything. But when you look at what he just said, together everyone achieves more. It's funny because I had that on the back of my high school shirt when we won the state championship. And it stands for team. And you have to understand, all the way from your football field, you know, um, if you like the Jets, the Giants, the Browns, or the Steelers, um, or, any, or any team, the Penguins or anything, that team has a goal they want to accomplish. And that's a vision. However, everybody has different tasks. So I think that when we started to know that everybody has their different tasks, he's great at some things I'm not great at. But together now, that How do you team, handle disagreements, though? Like, you know, I remember we were talking earlier about this. Like, you guys will disagree with each other. Yeah. How do you guys handle that? Because I know those out there that want to have these relationships with yeah. other titans, you know, you two are titans. Uh, how do you do that? We talk about it, mm -hmm. and, and usually uh, we usually come to some understanding in, in the middle. And, and if we really need a facilitator, we got the ultimate facilitator, yeah. which is Simon, uh, which we can go to. But usually yeah. we don't want to bring anything to him. We like to show him that we can handle everything uh, on our own. And oh. when I was thinking about, you know, that we would, see, I figured that if, if we were together, then we would both achieve more together, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, the whole idea was that on the outside we competed, but what people didn't know is behind closed doors, we had a duty to everyone else to work together. Look at that. So another, see, that's maturity right there, mm -hmm. what you heard right there, yeah. is that while you have an ego, we all have one, yeah. and it's, ego is good if it's, if it's managed right, ego to win, behind closed doors, both of you knew that you had a bigger responsibility to more people. Good stuff. Before we close out this locker room, guys, 
be living your very best life every day. Rock and roll. If you know someone you feel has a special story to tell or like to share, please email Eric directly and he will reach out to you and or this individual, even if you think this person is you. And by the way, if you've enjoyed and feel The Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not share it with a friend by sending them the daily message?